In an isolated section of the southwest United States, a hidden airport, secret base of cleverly designed planes which appear conventional but are powered with super engines. Headquarters of the Black Hawks, guardians of the peace who do not use guns but meet armed violence with superior skill and strength. Soup's on, Chuck. Let's eat. Feed it, Chop. Somebody's in trouble. Why trouble only come at meal time? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Stan! Edger? Stan, find Blackhawk. I'm getting a distress call. Right. Andre, where's Blackhawk? The hangar with Hendrickson. Blackhawk, radio distress call. Buck Slower, what's your location? What's the matter, Chuck? Plane in trouble heading for here. Landing gear jammed and almost out of gas. Stan, you take over. Tell a pilot to circle the field. We'll get into the air and see what we can do. There he is. Yes, I'll do as you say. I see your plane now. Don't mind, I came to see Stanislaus. Could we be alone? Well, yes, yeah, certainly. Come on, Chuck. I've risked a lot to bring you this letter. I don't like that business. 
Neither do I. Blackhawk. This is a message from my friends in the old country. I'd like to go on leave for a while. Why, certainly. He's coming with me. Well, won't you stay for supper? Well, uh, it's important that we leave at once. May I use my own plane? Why, sure. Thanks. Thank you for everything. I like this business less all the time. That man's the native of Stan's old country, and that place is now in the hands of the Reds. No, Stan didn't want to go. He felt he had to. He's heading into trouble. Oh, he wouldn't want us butting into his private affairs. What would be the harm if we trailed him? In case he gets into a jam. Not at all. Let's get organized. landed on a strip near some brush. Do you see any other place to set down? Oh, none close by. Then I'll have to hit the silk. You take over, circle around, come in close so they can't see me. You've not forgotten me. Leave us. I've come to ask you to desert this Black Hawk gang. I could never do that, Lask. Return with me to our native land. It's fighting for its freedom. That isn't true. Our country is now overrun by tyrants. You're wrong, Stanislaus. Let me show you. I'm not wrong. Boris, your twin brother's proving difficult. Things aren't so good. Flaska failed to persuade him, and we must act. Boris? You understand what you must do? You can't make me believe what I know is not true. But you must believe me. No. It's the Black Hawks who fight for liberty and freedom. I will return to them. You will do as I order. Stanislaus. 
Take his place quickly. now as a member of the famous Blackhawks. They'll learn not to interfere with our plans. Take him to the car. We must tell the leader what we've accomplished. Where's your plane? Uh, I, I can't remember. It's about a mile west of here. You take him back, I'll bring his plane and we'll meet at headquarters. I don't see any wound. The injury must be internal. You'd better get to bed. Bed? I'll be all right. Oh, I'll help you. Oh, all right. What's it all about? A very attractive girl was trying to persuade Stan to go back to his old country. Why? I don't know. We didn't stay around long enough to find out. Anything I can do for you? Sleep in there. It's locked. Force the door open. Get the hose. started the fire. What is it? It's some kind of a fire bomb. Foreign make. Somebody planted it in the hangar. Yeah, the same somebody who locked the door on the hangar from the outside. What are we going to do? Keep our eyes open. Council. 
Suspect attempt to sabotage defense plant by organized group. Your immediate aid requested. Your assignment, Sector 4, Area 6. Signed, Forrest. That's the old helium gas plant. We'll fly to emergency field 10 and get the car that's parked there. What about Stan? Chop and Hendrickson will keep an eye on him. Come on, let's get started. <laughs> Tell me where the main post office is. Sure. Two blocks down and one block to the right. Thank you. You out of gas? Well, I don't think so. No, I have plenty. Maybe it's a choke. Open the hood and we'll see. All right. the Blackhawks. They're all over the place. Police, let's clear out.
them are getting away in a car. All the boys. You'll find some prisoners inside. Search the place for bombs. We're going after the rest of the gang. took the side road. I noticed as I left the plant, it had a slow leak in the right rear tire. Good work, Chuck. Alaska calling by radio phone, sir. This is the leader. Sir, I regret to have to report failure. Information regarding our plans must have leaked out. They were ready for us. Then the Blackhawks arrived in force and drove us off. Our other groups failed also. Was anyone captured? No one of importance. Shall I take our Blackhawk prisoner away from here? No. He will be taken care of tonight. Contact our man Boris at Blackhawk headquarters. It should be unguarded. Use another station. We have talked long enough on this one. Yes, sir. Tonight, you'll regret you refused to join us. I'll never regret it. It's pretty flat. It'll do till we get to the next gas station. Go after them? No, it's more important to find out what's in that cabin. Somebody took your place with us that looks just like you. Like could only be my twin brother from the old country, Boris. And he's still at headquarters with a chance to wreck it, unless Hendrickson and Chop can stop him. You better get back in a hurry. We will. The plane's right nearby. Come on. knock out Hendrickson. Stay with the chop, we're on our way.
Will Boris succeed in sabotaging Black Hawk headquarters? Is Chop to be the last surviving Black Hawk? Don't miss Black Hawk Traps a Traitor, the second thrilling chapter of Black Hawk at this theater next week. but their strong fists and alert minds. Realizing that an enemy in Black Hawk uniform is at large in their headquarters, the Black Hawks try to reach there before the man can sabotage their air base. Stan has gone crazy. He has knocked out Hendrickson. Stay with it, Chop. We're on our way. next chop that was nice work not work me fight man who look like stan go crazy where is he he go inside <laughs> Chop with him. We 
We've got to protect Chop. Andre, you and I will trail him from the air. Stan, you and I will take the other car and follow him, but don't get too close. All right. Chuck, you stand by the radio. All right. Some of your friends they do for a surprise. They're about a half a mile ahead of you. When you get to the next road junction, turn left. Remember what he said. Left at the next road. Right. They went into a clump of trees alongside the road. Be careful. They may stop there. Turn on the lights. All right, turn them on. We don't see the other car. It never came out of those trees. Shall we look for it? No, there's a clearing up ahead. We'll land there and join you later. Stand by. We'll be there. All right, stand over there and face that rock. Come on. to the thickest brush. And right through it. Again. No, it's the radar scope. Someone's near the cabin. Who is it, Ella? It's Boris. He has someone with him. One of Blackhawk's men? Yes, it's the Chinese boy. Did you destroy the Black Hawk headquarters? No. They returned too soon. The leader won't like that. He went to a lot of trouble to get you into that uniform. I did my best. Then your best is not good enough. Hey, here's something. Looks like an electric eye gadget. Let me have your pencil flashlight.
Where did they go from here? That's what I'd like to know. Hit the ground! trail again. This is Laska calling the leader. This is the leader. Laska at station two. Boris has returned with the prisoner. He did not succeed in his mission. Does Boris know the penalty for failure? Yes, sir. We all do. We will suspend judgment on Boris and give him one more chance. Listen carefully. An important defense plant must be destroyed. It is a two and one half hour journey from your present location. The exact location will be given you at station three. Boris will be given an envelope there. This will permit him to enter the plant. It contains a document which was previously stolen. We have copied it and can now return it. You will go with Boris and watch him closely. Do you understand? Yes, sir. What about our prisoner? Dispose of him. And station two also. Yes, sir. Code five. Our prisoner heard all of that. He'll never be able to use it. You heard the leader's orders. Get to work. Make sure he's tied securely. I'll set the time clock. A lot of trails lead out from here. That one has fresh prints. destroy the fence plant. Which one? All I heard was that it'd take two and a half hours to get there. Well, it's not much of a lead, but it's something to go on. Let's get back to headquarters. Time is running out. There's a defense plant located here. The Critical Materials Company. I bet that's it. Oh, check. Manager, please. Blackhawk speaking. I'd like to... What? You say one of my men is there now? He's an imposter. He'll try to sabotage your plant. Find him. We're on our way. You're here. Our manager is conducting a search for that man. You men cover the outside. I'm going in. There's nobody in here, Blackhawk. I'll double check. 
situation. Is this Boris or Stan at the mercy of a runaway plane? Don't fail to see in the enemy's hideout the third exciting chapter of Black Hawk at this theater next week. strong fists and alert minds. Posing as one of the Black Hawks, Boris enters a defense plant intending to sabotage it. The Black Hawks speed there to stop him. that started this fire. Blackhawk's in there. Meet the fireman. Tell him what it is. Come on. Let's go to work on that fire.
There's Boris now. Boris! Here we are. Got in the car and went away. That girl, Waska, was with him. I'll bet they mistook him for their man. And Stan's playing along with him. Well, we've stopped their work here. Let's get back to headquarters. Stan will find some way to communicate with us. You're very quiet, Boris. Am I? I hadn't noticed. You might explain what delayed you at the plant. The leader will want to know why we failed to destroy it. Well, I, uh... I, I, I ran into some trouble. Blackhawk's men? Yes. Yes, I... That they discovered me, and, uh... I had to fight my way out. You know, Boris, I was beginning to suspect you were one of Blackhawk's men. Really? <laughs> well, that would be fatal. We will be receiving instructions soon. Tell the others to remain here until then. Anything unusual about that electronic door? You're looking at it as though you never saw it before. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was just thinking. Uh... Yes, so am I. Still worried about me? Well, shouldn't I be? You're so strange, so different, so unlike yourself. You wore it. What? You're not wearing it. No? You promised to wear it always. That ring is a symbol of our love for the cause. Oh, I... I... I must have lost it somewhere. Oh, Blackhawk's men have hurt you. Well, I'll be all right after a little rest. Of course. Well, aren't you going to release the lock? Oh, sorry. I... I forgot. Calling the HQ. Emergency. Calling the HQ. BHQ here, top speaking. Get Blackhawk, quick. Blackhawk speaking. I'm in one of their stations. They mistook me for Boris. Yeah, I figured they would. What's your location? Small bungalow in Foothills. Half a mile north of Highway 18. Distance from City. Stand by. Very well, sir. I will transmit your orders immediately. Boris signing off. To whom were you speaking? The leader, of course. Don't you know I'm the only one permitted to talk with him? 
Well, there wasn't time to call you. He said this was an emergency order. Order? What order? He wants us all to go immediately to Palm Valley, just east of the highway junction. That's an odd meeting place. Well, uh, those were his orders. Very well. Call the others. Bork, Chris, coming, Laska? You know that one of us must remain with the radio. Oh, of course. Stupid of me. This is Laska, calling the leader. This is the leader. Did you send all Station 3 personnel on a secret mission? Certainly not. You know I issue orders only through you. Then one of Black Hawk's spies is among us. He's leading our men into a trap. Stop them. They've already left, but I'll do my best. Laska, signing off. inside. Are you sure this is the spot Stan meant? Well, he said Palm Valley just east of the highway junction. They should be coming from that direction. When they do, we'll be ready for them. Laska, stop and see what she wants. What's the matter? Boris can tell you. He switched our transmitter wavelength and lied about the leader ordering you out. Boris did that? His double, Stanislaus, one of Blackhawk's men. He was leading you into a trap. Well, traps can backfire, mister. And yours puts you right where we want you. Well, the trick is to keep me here. Finish him off. No. The leader will have use for him. You're right. Take him to the airport. Stan and those spies should have been here long ago. Maybe Stan's in trouble. Let's find out. with me. The rest of you get started. We're returning to Section 3 to tell the leader what's happened.
Did you notice that car? I noticed one of the occupants. It looked enough like Stan to be him. That's what I saw. Hang on. to that post until we're ready to take off. some of the sabotage gang? Can Black Hawk and Chuck escape this appalling situation? Be sure to see The Iron Monster, the fourth action chapter of Black Hawk, at this theater next week. but their strong fists and alert minds. Laska and her men have discovered Stan's true identity and plan to get rid of him. The other Black Hawks speed to the aid of their comrade.
We've lost them. Not yet. Second car may try to block us. They're having fun now, but the road is wider up ahead. It's just what I've been waiting for. Blackhawks have caught up with car three. Well, that's our chance to get away. Step on it. Nice going, Blackhawk. The other fellas got away, but these boys couldn't make it. What do we do with them? Turn them over to the police, then we'll go back to headquarters. Welcome back. Mission accomplished, I hope. Hello, Stan. Glad to be back, Hendrickson. I almost didn't make it. Any word from the police? There's been word from someone. Chop took the message. I'll check. Uh, sorry, Black Hawk not here yet. Chop gave him the same message. Goodbye. Hendrickson says there's been a message for me. Lots of messages. All day long, same words. Police? Defense Bureau. What do they want? You. Orders for you to go see Dr. Rolf. Really quick. Most urgent. Rolf? Isn't he the scientist who's working on a secret ray for the government? Yes, he's been experimenting in a hideout on Castle Mountain. I wonder what his trouble is. I don't know, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed until I see him. As soon as I could, Dr. Rolf. Did anyone follow you here? Would they? Then why not? They'll stop at nothing. They? The ones responsible for the warning letters, the mysterious telephone calls, and the recent threats on my life. Well, what are they after, Dr. Rolf? This. Oh, is this the secret device you've been secretly perfecting for the government? Yes, but somehow the secret has leaked out. Every move I make is being watched. Well, evidently, you've created something worth stealing. I have. The destructive force of the electronic combustion ray would be a dangerous weapon in the hands of an enemy nation. You mean this thing works? Perfectly. I'll show you. This control unit transmits an invisible electronic ray at three times the speed of light. The rays are attracted by this magnetic disk. Zoom that chair to be the target. I'll use only a fraction of the instrument's power. Watch the target. Remarkable. 
and deadly. At full power, it could level an entire city. Unfortunately, others are aware of that. When did you hear from them last? Yesterday. Either I consent to turn over the device to a messenger or face the consequences. Then you'd better consent. And deliberately play into their hands? No. You turn over a dummy package to them, and we'll be watching. It's the leader calling you. Alaska, Station 3. Dr. Rolf has agreed to turn his electronic ray machine over to us. Good. It is not as good as it seems. Why not? I am informed that Black Hawk visited Rolf this morning. The doctor's abrupt change of heart is therefore a trick, perhaps a trap. What shall we do? We will make Dr. Rolf our guest. Then he can build a ray machine for us. You will contact him immediately. Here is his secret telephone number. Yes? This is Blackhawk. We must change our plans. Instead of waiting for us to pick you up, you will go to the junction of highways 18 and 23 and wait for us there. Do you understand? I understand. No. No one will see me. I sent the guard on an errand. I'll be leaving at once. Blackhawk was right. The saboteur suspected a trap. Now they've set one for Dr. Rolf. Blackhawk's on his way to Rolf's. I'll see if I can contact him. Rolf's place is up ahead around the bend. Sure picked himself a hideout. BH2 to BH1. Come in, BH1. Emergency. They must be in a dead spot. We'll try to catch them. Keep calling. BH1, go ahead, to. Dr. Rolf is being led into a trap. Junction of highways 18 and 23. Get there fast. Got it. BH1, over and off. Skip the introductions, Doc. Your gimmick is in that box. You're going to make a new one for us. coming up behind us fast. Looks like one of Blackhawks. We'll fix them. 
One five, calling four five. Come in four five, over. Come in four five. This is four five, go ahead one five. We have DR, but are being pursued by BH car. Going west on highway two three from junction. We'll cut over there and help out. Four five off. mysterious leader who directs this sinister organization. Will Rolf use his ray machine to destroy himself and his captors? Don't fail to see Human Targets, the fifth smashing chapter of Black Hawk, at this theater next week. and alert minds. Black Hawk and Chuck trail the abductors of Dr. Rolf. They are unaware that another enemy car is following them. And now... to go after those guys. By the time we get out of this ditch, they'll be miles away. It's the end of the line, Doctor. Climb out. Enjoy your stay with us, provided you cooperate. Now, see here, young lady. My name is Laska. I don't care what it is. I demand to know the reason for this outrage. Mm. 
I really didn't expect you to bring your ray machine, Doctor. Now you can go to your place tonight and get it. Certainly. The guards there will be glad to welcome your men. Then you'll remain our prisoner until you make another. We're leaving here immediately for Station 4. The Blackhawks know this place. Blindfold him, then take the radio to the car. Well, then we located the hideout where they took me. Nobody was there. You know, Blackhawk, it was the same inside as the other one. There must be a reason for that. Maybe they don't want the prisoners to know which hideout they're in. Yeah, that's possible. You know, when those people find out that Dr. Rolf didn't bring his ray machine, they'll do one of two things. Either they'll try to steal the apparatus from his home. His home? <laughs> That'll be pretty hard to do the way it's guarded. Or they'll try to force him to make another one. In either case, the doctor is in no immediate danger. Black Hawk speaking. Connect me with the Chairman of the Defense Council. Mr. Bradford? This is Black Hawk speaking. 0371. I'd like your permission to remove Dr. Rolf's invention from his home and place it in the defense vault. No, I'll handle it myself. And no one will suspect what's going on. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Fine, Chuck. Tell him we're going places in a hurry. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. Laska signing off. Blackhawk is very kindly going to remove the ray machine from Dr. Roth's home. And we'll remove it from him. We must plan this very carefully. The truck just pulled up, and two men went inside. I think it's Blackhawk and one of his men. If they come out with a package, I'll know it is. Got it. The truck just pulled out. They'll be passing your position in a couple of minutes. No, shots may bring somebody we don't want to see. Dyke, you drive the truck.
How'd they know we had that ray machine? They must have some way of getting inside information. Anyway, the ray machine won't work without this disc. They can force Dr. Roth to make another. By that time, we'll have him spotted. It's a lucky thing I had Andre cover us. Let's get out on the highway so Olaf can pick us up. She follows the truck and the cars to a ranch house out the Banning Road. First road right after a junction with Highway 97. Then three miles north. Any place to land nearby? No. All hills and brush. Well, it's up to us again. I could have guessed that. Radio Stan and Andre to come in. Order the others to stand by for a fast call. We're going out to that ranch house. Let's get out of these things. What amuses you, Doctor? Although you have my ray machine, it is of no use without the target disc. Then you'll make another. That is impossible. It is made of a secret metal. We're very efficient at getting secrets from people, Doctor. Study this apparatus carefully. Mr. Al is an electronics expert. He'll soon know as much about your machine as you do. What's this, Doc? A transformer? All right, I can find out by taking it apart. Yes, it's a transformer. Well, that's better. Now we're beginning to get along. This is Cress. We got rid of the truck. What now? Come to station four at once. Right. Cress off. You stand by here. How are you doing with Dr. Rolf? Very well so far, but we may have to go to work on him. Start giving off with some information about it. Is it plugged in? Yes. This machine generates a powerful force of compressed static electricity. When released, it exerts an electronic impulse, much like a bolt of lightning. But you need that disc you were talking about. That determines the direction of the impulse, but it is a powerful weapon without that. With the disc as target, and the ray at full power, it could destroy any building. It must be close. It's almost three miles on the speedometer. We'll hike in from here.
stand over against that wall, and I'll give you a low-tension demonstration of what the ray will do. You don't expect us to fall for that, do you? I don't understand. Sure you do, and so do I. You'd like to blast us with that ray and walk out of here. Taken. The machine couldn't harm you. You said it was a dangerous weapon even without the target. 